from killing bacteria to helping you with a good night's sleep. Stay tuned to number one to find out how many natural herbs can naturally fight cancer. Number 10, dandelions. Dandelions are one of those herbs you wouldn't necessarily associate with being medically beneficial, but they definitely are. Almost all of us have it in our backyards, but we simply don't think about it. The amazing thing about dandelions is that the whole plant can be used for medical purposes, because each part is beneficial in some way. The root and leaves of the dandelion contain high levels of vitamin A, C, D, and B complex. But wait, there's more. There's also zinc, iron, magnesium, manganese, and more, with the root being extremely beneficial for liver and gallbladder treatment. The leaves can also be used for highly nutritious herbal teas, and these are just some of the ways that dandelions can be used for medical purposes. Number 9. Stinging Nettle Here's another plant that many of us have growing in the backyard but simply don't notice or pay attention to. Although nettle itself can be quite stingy and doesn't feel great to touch it, it's actually quite good for you. Not that stinging, of course, that's never pleasant, but nettle has a strong anti-inflammatory effect, and it's very effective when it comes to allergic rhinitis because it removes almost all of its symptoms. It is also very beneficial for lowering blood pressure since it's known to increase salt increasing and urine output. The nettle leaf itself is especially effective for improving the immune system and treating various skin conditions. Furthermore, it turns out that the nettle leaf helps hair regrowth as well as hair thickening. In the last couple of decades, nettle has been experiencing a kind of resurgence as more and more people have discovered its beneficial potential. Number 8. Milk Thistle This herb is a natural antioxidant with anti-inflammatory benefits and is also used for liver cleansing due to its detoxing properties. Milk thistle is so good for the liver that it not only decreases liver damage but also contributes to damage reversal. Milk thistle has been around for thousands of years and people have used it for various kinds of treatments pretty much since its existence. It draws toxins out of the body which actually prevents a number of illnesses and disorders such as skin damage, high cholesterol, kidney stone formation, diabetes, and the like. Being an antioxidant, it also slows down the aging process and strengthens the immune system. Another good thing about milk thistle is that it is generally safe to use because there have been little to no cases of reported side effects. Sometimes a person can experience gastrointestinal upset, but this is not very often. When it comes to natural medicine, milk thistle is definitely up there with the greatest. Number 7. Feverfew this herb has been used for centuries, as there are numerous medical conditions it can help with. From generation to generation, feverfew has been known to help with childbirth labor, infertility, stomach ache, headache, toothache, asthma, nausea, and vomiting, just to name a few. And if you think about how the name came about, it will all make even more sense. The name comes from the Latin word febrifugia, which can be translated as fever reducer. Perfectly logical when you come to think of it. The reason why feverfew is so effective when it comes to easing pain probably lies in parthenolide, a biochemical that occurs naturally in this herb. This biochemical helps widen the blood vessels, thus soothing migraines and helping a person feel better. In fact, feverfew is so effective that it even rivals aspirin, which is in itself an amazing accomplishment. Even more, recent research shows that feverfew may be excellent as an antithrombatic agent as well because it does a great job at preventing clot formation. Number 6. Aloe Vera Aloe Vera is a real natural wonder. It is one of the most biologically active plants of its kind, and it's very rich in minerals, vitamins, and amino acids. What's absolutely amazing about aloe vera is that it contains 20 of the 22 amino acids that we require. And on top of that, it contains all 8 amino acids considered essential. Aloe vera is highly beneficial when it comes to treating skin conditions such as psoriasis and burn injuries. Its gel is highly effective when treating cold sores because it speeds up the healing process. Aloe vera is also good as a laxative because the chemicals it produces help stimulate the intestines and it improves digestion by normalizing bowel movements. But where all the aloe vera benefits really excel at is at boosting our immune system. 
its enzymes break down the proteins into amino acids, thus creating powerful fuels for our bodies. And it has a significant amount of zinc, which further strengthens the immune system and wards off various diseases by protecting our cell membranes. Talk about a miracle plant. Number 5. Garlic The main reason garlic is a fantastic herb is obvious. I mean, it scares away vampires. And while garlic may not have the most pleasant smell, it's definitely a fantastic plant with so many other beneficial effects. The reason garlic smells funny is hidden in its sulfur-containing compounds, with allicin being one of them. But it is precisely because of these compounds that garlic is so beneficial. Garlic can reduce all kinds of inflammation, including osteoarthritis, improve the immune system through its antiviral and antibacterial effects, and to help reinforce the cardiovascular system. It is also toxic to over a dozen types of cancer cells, such as breast, lung, brain, and more. Another fantastic side effect of garlic is that it can fight bacteria that are resistant to medicine better than anything else. Many people avoid using fresh garlic, and they opt for garlic pills since there's no funny smell in them. But this practice is not at all efficient, because the main ingredient, allicin, loses all of its power one hour after garlic is smashed. In turn, all beneficial effects of garlic are gone forever. That's why garlic should be eaten fresh, or its medical effects won't be of any value. Number 4. Ginger Ginger can be used for many antibacterial, antiviral, antioxidant, and antiparasitic purposes, but it's probably best known for its anti-nausea properties. And when we say nausea, it means many forms of nausea, including morning sickness. It has also been used as a remedy for seasickness, for relieving post-surgery vomiting, as well as the side effects of undergoing chemotherapy. Ginger is also highly effective when it comes to pain relief from headaches, menstrual pain, joint pain, and more. It reduces muscle pain and soreness, which means it's really beneficial when it comes to treating post-exercise muscle pain. Ginger's anti-inflammatory properties are also great for treating osteoarthritis, and it can significantly reduce the symptoms in the long run. And if all of that wasn't enough, it even helps with chronic indigestion and lowers cholesterol levels. On top of all this, it seems that ginger is also highly beneficial when it comes to reducing blood sugar levels and risk factors for various forms of heart disease, although research on this is still in its infancy. All in all, you simply cannot go wrong with ginger. I prefer mine as a side to all-you-can-eat sushi. Number 3. Chamomile Chamomile has been around for thousands of years, and it's one of the most beloved herbs in the catalog. Its medical benefits are diverse, as it can treat dozens of health conditions successfully. First of all, chamomile contains an antioxidant called apigenin, which interacts with certain brain receptors and causes you to feel relaxed and sleepy. This is excellent for reducing insomnia and nourishing the brain. Chamomile contains several antioxidants that have been proven to treat various forms of cancer. In a study conducted on a group of 537 people, those people who consumed chamomile tea more than three times per week stood less chance of developing thyroid cancer. This research is still in its initial stage, but it is definitely solid evidence for chamomile's beneficial properties. The anti-inflammatory qualities of chamomile most likely prevent pancreas damage normally caused by constant high blood sugar levels that seem to be a regular thing in modern diets, and it can keep cholesterol levels and blood pressure levels in check. Also, it is very effective for treating ulcers, wounds, and even some natural allergies. Some people dismiss chamomile as a natural remedy, but its numerous health benefits prove otherwise. It is an excellent herb with so much to offer. Number 2. Lavender Lavender is one of those herbs that are simply meant to be of good service to us. It's hard to even summarize all of its health benefits because there are so many of them. In the form of an oil, lavender is great for decreasing blood pressure and body temperature. It's also very soothing to the nervous system, since it reduces anxiety and emotional turmoil. In addition to this, lavender benefits our sleep because it stimulates the brain and calms our heart rate to better suit sleep mode. Thus, we can have a deeper and longer sleep, which in and of itself is great for our body and overall immunity. Lavender has been proven to treat skin disorders such as ulcers, burns, and wounds because it reduces inflammation and speeds up the healing process significantly. It relieves pain and does wonders for insect bite itching. 
Applied through aromatherapy, it can alleviate joint pain, reduce menstrual cramps, and alleviate headache pain. Lavender is definitely an all-around helper in the herb family. Before we get to number one, take a moment to like this video, and don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with new videos by Zero to Hero. Number one, thyme. Thyme is one of the best herbs of all time because of its health benefits as well as its medical potential. They're practically endless. Thyme has strong antimicrobial properties, which makes it fantastic for fighting sore throats. It keeps the cholesterol levels and blood pressure in check and lowers the chances of food poisoning because of its decontamination properties. Thyme has been used for centuries in the treatment of coughs and serious respiratory conditions, such as bronchitis. One of the main components of thyme is thymol, from which the herb gets its antiseptic properties, and because of which it kills germs and all kinds of infections effectively. In addition to all of this, thyme has an array of antibacterial and antioxidant compounds, making it a top-notch bad cell fighter. It's no wonder then that this herb was associated with strength and bravery in ancient times. Thyme also boosts the mood because it increases the levels of dopamine and serotonin, stimulating the brain positive activities. On top of all of this, the herb has anti-tumor properties, which is why it's one of the top cancer-fighting plants out there. What do you think about some of these amazing plants? Let us know in the comments below and take care!